Dear students, this is a mathematical problem on gas formula. We need to have some basic ideas with real feelings before starting this math. See, this is a picture of a lake. This point is the surface point of the lake and this point is the bottom point of the lake. Suppose this is an inflated balloon. This balloon starts its journey from this bottom point and reaches here in this surface point. Can any of you tell me which point will be the initial point and which point will be the final point for the balloon? Yes, I think all of you can tell me the answer. Starting point will always be the initial and reaching point will always be the final. Therefore, at this starting or initial point, each variable we get will be initial. The variables can be pressure, volume or temperature. We consider initial pressure as P1, initial volume as V1 and initial temperature as T1. Similarly, in this final point, we will get final pressure that we let as P2, final volume that we let as V2 and final temperature that we let as P2. Now, look at the lake. When this balloon starts its journey, then the water pressure on the balloon tends to decrease and at the same time, the volume of the balloon increases. How is this possible? Let's feel practically. See, pressure is decreasing but the volume of the balloon increasing. Same thing happened with the balloon of the lake. When it comes up at the surface level from the bottom of the lake, then with the decreasing of water pressure, its volume increases. Do remember, if we do not get any temperature given in the stem, then we will always consider temperature as constant. As the temperature of air and water is the same, this is why temperature is often not mentioned in the stem. Again, if we get only one temperature given in the stem, even then we can assume that the temperature of water and the temperature of air exactly the same. We know that temperature is constant for Boyle's formula. So, in these two cases, we will apply Boyle's formula. But if we get two different temperatures given in the stem, then we will let temperature as variable, not constant. From the tutorial Math Solution Part 1, we have already learned when all the three variables are in changing state, then we have to apply combined gas formula. It is also very important to remember which unit we should use. For this chapter in physics, we will always try to solve the problems by using SI unit or MKS unit. Both are the same. But for the chapter of environmental chemistry, we will always try to use liter atmosphere unit. Let us solve the math. A balloon is filled up with nitrogen gas. The volume of the balloon becomes double when it comes at the surface of a lake from its bottom. Surface pressure is 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. Surface temperature is 30 degree centigrade. Now the question is, is it possible to determine the height of the lake? See the height of the lake is just from here to here. 
so this h will be its height we have to determine the value of this h look at the stem the volume of the balloon becomes double when it comes at the surface that means the initial volume of the balloon will be doubled when it comes to the surface as the balloon starts its journey from this point therefore this point will be the initial for the balloon again as the balloon finally reaches here therefore this point will be the final for the balloon so in this point we can consider the volume of the balloon as initial volume v1 and in this point we can consider the volume of the balloon as final volume v2 according to the stem this v2 must be twice of v1 so we can write v2 equals 2v1 as we get the pressure on the balloon in this point we will consider this pressure as initial that means the initial pressure will be p1 here and we will consider the pressure in this surface point as p2 that means this p2 will be the final pressure is there any water on the balloon in this final point no that means no pressure of water will work on the balloon but what has around the balloon only air isn't it therefore which pressure will work only on the balloon in this surface point only atmospheric pressure will work given atmospheric pressure in the stem is 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square then this value will be the value of p2 because atmospheric pressure is in the final point that means p2 equals 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square see in this initial point there are two types of pressure working on the balloon at the same time one is water pressure and the other is atmospheric pressure therefore we can write p1 equals atmospheric pressure plus water pressure what was the atmospheric pressure we considered p2 isn't it therefore we will write here p2 instead of atmospheric pressure plus water pressure now what can we write instead of water pressure we can write h rho g we know that at any point at the depth of h inside the liquid pressure p equals h rho g now look at the stem see in this stem only one temperature is given this means that the temperature of the atmosphere and the temperature of the water are exactly the same so we can assume that temperature is constant here the volume of the balloon at the bottom has changed when it came to the surface of the water again the pressure on the balloon at the bottom has changed when it came to the surface of the water that means volume and pressure are not constant they are variable can you tell me which formula should we apply in this situation whenever we will get pressure and volume are variable but temperature is constant in any stem then we will apply the boyle's formula now let us write in a systematic way here depth of lake h equals what initial volume of the balloon is v1 
final volume at the surface of water V2 equals 2V1, atmospheric pressure P2 equals 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square, density of water rho equals 1000 kg per meter cube, gravitational acceleration G equals 9.8 meter per second square, pressure in the bottom P1 equals P2 plus H rho G. According to the Boyle's law, we know P1 V1 equals P2 V2. Instead of this P1, we can write P2 plus H rho G into this V1 equals P2 into 2 V1 as we can write 2 V1 instead of V2. 10 to the power 5 is the value of P2 plus H into the value of rho that means 1000 into 9.8 the value of G into V1 equals P2 into 2V1. Both the V1 of the left side and the V1 of the right side will be cancelled or H into 1000 into 9.8 equals 2 into 10 to the power 5 minus 10 to the power 5 or H equals 2 into 10 to the power 5 minus 10 to the power 5 over 1000 into 9.8 or H equals 10.2 therefore H equals 10.2 meter this is the height of the lake and this is our required answer thanks for watching this tutorial